Hi everybody, Sean P. Connor here, aka Mr. M3. Today I have a customer requirement where we're going to set up an invoicing group for all of our customers. I'm going to open up OIS 180. This is the program that is often used for invoicing. What I want to do is configure this field right here, invoicing group. So I want to assign this to all my customers and then use that field as a selection criteria. Today I'm just going to do two groups. So to set up the invoicing group, one of the nice shortcuts with M3 is, is if I hit F4 two times, the first time it brings up the browse window, the second time actually brings up the program, in this case CRS 104, that is used to define that field. My first invoicing group, I'm going to call it 1, and I'm going to call it normal. Basically I put in a record and I hit create. So I'm going to create a second invoicing group, I'm going to hit create this time and I'm going to type in the word holiday. My invoicing group is completely set up and they're ready to be assigned to customers throughout the system. They're also now selectable under the invoicing group. Then it's really not going to do anything at all if I use these invoicing groups right now. I have to actually connect the number one and connect the number two to all of my customers. CRS 610 is Customer Master. CRS 610 is Customer Master and that's where all the customer information is. And this is where we need to assign the invoicing group. I'm going to hit change. CRS 610 H panel is where invoicing group. And so now I'm going to select normal. And now I just assign this customer an invoicing group one. We have tens of thousands of customers in this system. It would take me a very long time to be able to assign every single customer in this ma matter. So I'm going to use SQL and I'm going to go in the back end and I'm going to populate all of my customers with a one code. I'm just going to write a really quick query. If I'm just going to select those two fields, you could see that it has invoicing group one and Kuno there. All of our customers throughout M3s are going to receive the one invoicing group. A select number of customers are going to receive two holiday. So what I want to do is find those customers and then I want to change those records specifically. So now if I were to pull up a random customer, you'll see that invoicing group one is set for this customer. Now the functionality of invoicing group could be used. If I were to select this field, then just those accounts are going to get invoiced. If I select this field, then just those accounts are going to be invoiced. And that's how you would set up an invoicing group in M3. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Um, this is a newer YouTube channel for me. I'm really excited to start configuring and sending a lot of content out there on YouTube. Some of my videos might be random at first because I'm going to make them as I go along and have requirements from customers to configure their system. So if there's something specific you want to see, please just send a note in the comments and I'll put those at the top of my list.